good afternoon everyone this is a very quick rainy introduction i'm at my friend's house today and we are going to be psyching ourselves up for halloween making witches hats together so yes yeah, sewing diy project upcoming we also might bake some cookies and ice some cookies as well really making sure we are in the mood for halloween as halloween is in a couple of days now so it is coming very very quickly we're gonna watch some halloween movies practical magic maybe a couple of others if we have time but to be honest once we're sewing we probably won't be paying that much attention but I just had to get some footage of her garden because it is just so cute out here so yeah I'm gonna be heading inside now
This is the moment where they went from looking like dunce hats to something really quite cool. It took a good few hours to get there, but after this it was basically just work on the brim, hemming it and then adding some quilting stitching from the outside in, which really helped to give it some shape and some softness as well when we put them on so that the brim didn't look really really stiff, which is what I'm doing in this clip here. I love that they all have such personality. We're missing one from this clip as one of our sewing coven had to leave earlier, but hers also looked amazing. We all chose such different fabrics and yet they all worked so well. And I really like that no two look the same. By the time we sat down to eat, it was 10.30, so we decided to call it a night and tie up any loose ends tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it's the following day, it's, oh, I think it's just gone 7.30 probably, I've been up a long time with Luna already, she is an early riser, especially on the weekends, but we have had this very beautiful dog walk with the sun rising and it's been absolutely beautiful and worth being a little bit chilly for this morning. I didn't get back from Alice's last night until... Oh, I think it was 11 or very close to 11. The witch's hat making took a lot, a lot longer than we were anticipating, but we got them finished and they look really, really cool. And because the hat making took so long, we never finished cookies. So I've got some cookies to potentially ice today as well. So I shall be filming that. And then I might do a little sit down and chit chat with you all again. I've been back from my walk with Luna for quite a while now and honestly I've not really accomplished much in that time apart from feeding myself and getting marginally ready for the day. I don't have a lot to do today so I didn't want to put on too much makeup or, or anything like that. I'm staying in a baggy sweatshirt but uh, potentially might pop up to my nanny's at some point. She's got two new kittens so prepare for some potentially cute kitten content later in the day. Um, but apart from that, I'm just sort of pottering around at home. I need to run out and get some food coloring because I realized that I can't ice cookies without food coloring and I was pretty sure I had some and I do not. So yeah, got to run and get some of that today to finish off the cookies. And uh, also I'm, I'm kind of feeling the sewing bug now. I want to make more um, after we did the witches hats yesterday. I always forget that I kind of like a sewing project once I get going. And I have so much fabric left over and it's it's just really cute and I know you saw it yesterday but you're gonna see it again now it's adorable really autumnal little pattern on there and uh, I think it would go really nicely with Luna's fur color so I'm thinking I might try and make her a little matching bandana to my witch's hat maybe see if I can get her to sit with me for a photo shoot but she doesn't like photo shoots. She tends to sort of look at the ceiling until you're finished trying to take her photo. It's quite funny. Um, but regardless, she does like a bandana. She likes the attention she gets when she walks wearing a bandana from strangers or from other dog walkers or whatever. They think she's adorable and she also thinks she's adorable. So <laughs> she is adorable to be fair. Um, so yeah, I might utilize it for that. And I also might try and make Molly one as well. Molly's my cat if you've not watched any of my other vlogs. But um, yeah, she won't sit with Luna for a photo or anything like that. They don't really get on very well sadly to my absolute despair they don't but yeah I, I think she'd still also like to participate in the bandana wearing she's very cute and she does like a photo shoot so yeah she will like a bandana to wear in it I think um anyway might be a waste of fabric might be amazing we'll see how it turns out or if I even try later on but yeah it's just a very kind of easygoing Sunday finishing off some craft projects, basically. One mad dash to Sainsbury's later. 
I got the goods. Excuse me, puppy nose. Luna. It is at this point that I feel obligated to inform you that I have a super unsteady hand and it takes me absolutely ages to ice cookies like this. So this is my cookie icing highlight reel. I do find it quite therapeutic doing this and I was really enjoying sitting in my kitchen, just listening to some Fleetwood Mac, fending off Luna from trying to steal one of the cookies from the drying rack. She did actually succeed. I can't believe I missed getting it on camera, but uh, by the end I was one cookie down, one pumpkin one, but uh, never mind. Salute whilst I visit kittens and my nan, obviously. Love you, nanny. It's really gentle, actually. Yeah. Hello. What have I got? What is it? <laughs> got sugar on his whiskers. <laughs> By the time I got home from my nan's it was getting pretty dark so I wasted no time in finding an old bandana of Luna's to use as a template and I'm just going to lay it on top of my fabric and cut around it leaving about half an inch to an inch of extra fabric around the edge so that I can hem it properly and I think it's going to look really cute in this fabric. It worked really nicely, I had enough fabric to go so I'm going to cut out two of those triangles. It was getting pretty dark at this point so I didn't actually do the sewing but I have so much fabric left from just one meter and that's doing the hat and the bandanas so I think I'm gonna have enough to make a little one for Molly too 
I think that's a wrap on the creative portion of this video. As you will have just seen in the previous clip, I did manage to find an older bandana of Luna's, one that does still fit. Um, we bought it last year from Happy Hound Accessories, I believe it was from. But yeah, I managed to use that to make a bit of a template for myself. It should be really easy, just some simple back to backing of fabric basically. And then I have some really thin interfacing that I might put in between just to help it keep its shape when she's wearing it. But it's, I think it's the lightest in interfacing that you can buy. So it doesn't have a lot of um, stiffness to it, which is good because she runs around a lot and I don't want it to get in her way. Um, I couldn't find Molly's bandana. She has something that used to slip onto her collar. Yeah, like a little add-on to her collar that was like a little triangle of fabric. I'll put a picture up here of what it looked like because I took pictures of her in it last year and I, I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to have to scrounge around for that and see if I can make a template for that one as well. If not, it's literally a triangle of fabric with a bit sewn across to leave a gap to thread through her collar. So I'm hoping I can figure that out. If I can't, I'm a bit worried. But, um, you know, sewing is never easy. So if I can't figure that out, I'm not judging myself, to be honest. It's it's nice to be able to do a creative project. I don't know what it is. There's something about autumn that makes me want to be creative. And I always have activities in mind to do over autumn. So in case anybody is looking for some activity inspiration coming up to Halloween or for this Halloween weekend, because hopefully you're watching this on the 28th of October. So yeah, the Saturday before Halloween. So I thought I would give some suggestions of other creative things that you can do, things that I've done before, things that I want to do that probably I won't have time to now. Obviously you can make the witch's hats and I will have the templates to the pattern we used link down below it was a free pattern so it's a free download we just printed it off and stuck the bits together to make the template and the witches hats they were quite fiddly to be honest even though it's just a two-part pattern piece they were pretty tricky because once the stiff interfacing is in there it is really hard to maneuver them around the sewing machine or vice versa the sewing machine around the hat but it worked we did it everybody came out with a wearable witch's hat so and i am quite an amateur sewer versus alice and jeanette who were sewing with me and lizzie as well um so i <laughs> i think if i can do it anyone can and uh the other thing that i have picked up is i picked up something in the range in july when i did my shop with me for autumn in july video and uh, as you can see in the video i picked up this crochet your own pumpkin garland so i might see if i can start that probably not this evening but maybe before halloween and uh if i get it done in time i might try and add it to my current decorations looking around wondering where it could go but i think it'll be really cute if not i'll save it for next year and then i can utilize it a bit more in the lead up to autumn and incorporate it into my decorating which is probably better to be honest they also had a make your own pumpkin shaped candle kit i think it's in the video so i'll, I'll put the clip up here so that you can see what i'm talking about and uh, that looked really cute as well so and they were cheap i think they were less than 10 pound each and uh, it looked pretty simple to do fingers crossed it's simple to do so yeah if you're looking for a cheap craft and you don't have something at home already that's a good idea or a good solution to that the other thing you could do is just grab yourself a pumpkin from whatever your local supermarket is. You can pick them up relatively cheaply there. Or even better, go to a pumpkin patch or a farm shop just because it's a little bit cuter and you can take some photos. And uh, you can either do pumpkin carving or pumpkin painting, which is really cute. You could have a pumpkin painting party with your friends. I think that sounds adorable. Also love a little bit of alliteration. You can decorate your doorstep. That's always something really cute to do, especially Especially if you live in uh, a town or a neighborhood where there are quite a lot of trick-or-treaters where I live it's quite isolated we don't really get a lot of trick-or-treaters frankly the decorations on my doorstep are basically for me and my neighbors and we all enjoy it so it doesn't matter if anyone else is gonna see it really as long as you get the enjoyment from it I think that's what matters I always get inspired to bake this time of year as well and I am NOT a cook or a baker at all so once again if i can do it you can do it 
the cookies we made yesterday were a very simple gingerbread recipe and then the icing is literally just icing sugar and water so once again hopefully a flawless thing to be making but then i always want apple this time of year apple treats apple pies apple pastries i would i would literally eat apple anything but i'm not very good at cooking so buy your own pastry from the shops that is always the way to go for me and you can still make yourself delicious treats with that and nobody needs to know that you cheated on the pastry that's what i have to say about that you could host a halloween movie night and you could ask everybody to bring a board or a platter that has the theme of a monster like a witch themed platter or a zombie or a ghost or whatever something like that and then it's a cheap way for you and all of your friends actually to celebrate or do something on halloween that doesn't cost the world because i understand that in this current climate that is a factor that we are all thinking about trust me <laughs> If you're a little bit more leisurely with time over the coming weekend or even in the lead up to Halloween on Tuesday, you could take yourself to a cafe and order yourself some Halloween treats, whatever they've got there, whether it's pumpkin spice or whether it's a cookie in the shape of a ghost or whatever it is. Uh, you could, what else could you do? You could do themed costumes with your friends or your work colleagues. You could all come as a character from Harry Potter or from Hocus Pocus or something like that that's really fun and then you can kind of scrounge it together from bits in your wardrobe you don't have to go out and buy a new costume or you can make something if you are creatively minded it's not always easy but sometimes it is fun to try and make something and you can get some really really good stuff that way um oh what else could you do this halloween weekend you could if it's not too late to book yourself a slot to go and visit a pumpkin patch they're never too expensive or at least the ones in my area aren't too expensive visit a farm shop you don't necessarily have to buy anything but it's always really cute to browse and it always makes me feel really cozy um you could go on a long autumnal walk and you could pick up lots of beautiful autumn leaves and i know they're gonna wilt and die but i have a solution to that if you've got any old candles in your house particularly clear wax candles keep them when they've burnt down and use the wax to melt and then dip the leaves into and then when they dry it preserves the leaves just for a little bit longer long enough to maybe decorate a centerpiece on a table or to make an autumn leaf garland with i've done that before um in instead of buying fake leaves and it's very pretty they they obviously don't last forever but it does preserve them that little bit longer and it makes the color really vivid for a while too and it looks beautiful and it's fun anyway i hope you've been inspired by some of those suggestions let me know in the comments if you try anything or if you've got anything to add to that list i definitely would love to hear it because i am always looking for something creative or something fun to do around autumn time i'm really enjoying making this seasonal content to post alongside the songs that i cover on my channel speaking of which there is a very special cover song video that i am putting out on halloween itself so october 31st make sure you have subscribed and turned on your post notifications so that you don't miss that one and while you're at it you may as well like this video share it if you'd like to leave a comment down below i will make sure i get back to you and all that jazz thank you so much for watching happy soon to be halloween take care bye